Luis. You are mute, Luis. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah, okay. you. <laughs> good evening, teacher. How good are you? I'm doing good, Luis. How about you? Okay, fine. Fine, Every, everything okay. Yeah, what did yeah. you do over the weekend? Oh, st stay in my house, right? Um, and yesterday, for example, the, the Valentine's Day and, and, and family. Yeah, we, yeah. All kind of activity and family yesterday and uh, stay here in, in my house. And uh, do you know we 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 cannot uh, live right because why the pandemic right? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Uh, do you know? <laughs> do you know that the mall is a uh, crowd people? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's a um, it's, uh, precau precau uh, precaution. War war Pre precaution. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, it's a precaution to avoid uh, that pandemic, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's necessary, right? Yeah, it's, it's necessary because. Um, and and the, um, I I suppose yesterday in the mall we, we have a lot of people right, uh -huh. uh, we have a lot I, of people in the, in the mall and the restaurant fast food. <laughs> I yeah. think I'm not sure, but because I I try to avoid it. I I I didn't go to the mall. I I didn't go out or. I, I, oh really? Uh -huh. No, no. I, I, I don't like to do this for Valentine's Day. I think it's not a good idea. It's not a good time to to do it. Yeah, it's not a good idea. But, but do you know the the business is uh the the first and the business is to save. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's very uh, very difficult. But in my case, I, I I was here in my house. Uh, I, uh, we took our lunch in family. Ah, oh, that's good. That's a good time. Yeah. A good way to spend mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Carla Chang, how was your weekend? How was your Valentine's? Hi. Um. Good. Good. I I go to the the park. I went. I went to the park. I went to the park, mm -hmm. and I I I was I wear I wear a lot of by I don't know by by bicycling. I don't know. Ah, okay. I yes, I, it's okay. Uh, normally, cycling. I went cycling. I went cycling. cycling. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that that's all. Oh, what park did you go to, Carla? Sorry, I don't hear you. What park did you go to? Bicentenario. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I go to Cafetalón. So. Ah. It's, it's very, it's very large to me, so far away uh, from my home. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And for me, it's the opposite. Uh, Bicentenario is very far and Cafetalón is one block. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you're living in Lourdes, right? No, no, in Santa Tecla now. I live in Santa Tecla. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So because of this is... It's easy for to go to uh, Cafetalon. I only cross the street and I am there. <laughs> do, do you live around the Paso del Carmen, Professor? From the Cafetalon, yes. I live one block from, from Cafetalon. Uh -huh. Paso del Carmen near to Cafetalon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One block, the same from uh, my house. Ah, one block. Oh, one okay. block to 
uh, El Carmen, one block to Cafe Talo, one block to uh, uh, Parque San Martin, the police. Uh, it's, everything is like, it's very close to where I live now. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the okay. good, this is the good thing for, for logistics is, is I can go to the park and it's nice. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened during during at night and the Paseo del Carmen is it happy? Yes, during, continue. During at night. Yes, they have many activities and music uh -huh. and and singers and dancers. They have a lot of activities. Mm -hmm. okay. Usually, uh, more in the in the weekday not so much, but uh, in the weekend they usually have some many activities okay good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right well let's continue uh, before we continue are there any questions about the platform any parts that is, or any exercises that are not clear that are difficult that you're not sure about So everybody's okay with the platform. Uh, uh, lesson one, lesson two, midterm, lesson three, uh, lesson four, every, all of that is okay. Yeah, in my case, I finished the, the platform. Oh, excellent, Luis. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> you passed? Finish. Uh, yes, of course. Okay. I, I, uh -huh. Not like some I students, finish. right? Some students, I finished, but they didn't pass <laughs> <laughs> no but i i suppose i i passed the course because appear my diploma <laughs> excellent then yes then yes uh -huh. okay eduardo any questions Everything okay, Eduardo? Yes, teacher. Finish the pl platform. Hey, congratulations too, Eduardo. Congratulations. All right. Okay. Lea, any questions? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm sorry, but I drink my coffee. <laughs> no, drink the coffee. It's good. That way you don't sleep. Have insomnia. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. You, you drink insomnia. <laughs> and I, and I was um, yes I finished the platform and I similar Luis I believe that passed I don't know uh, but I have appeared the, the diploma right <laughs> this is the appeared the diploma <laughs> okay okay mm -hmm. good congratulations very good thank you Blanca any questions Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, I, I am missing, missing to explore a uh, um, five lesson. For the exam, Blanca. Teacher? Blanca? No. Uh, a lesson teacher so so blanca hi teacher i think you have problems with the internet blanca uh, the platform i am missing two exercises uh, for hearing and five five ah okay okay two. okay yes yes okay no problem if you have questions then you can ask us not a problem. No. No questions? No. Okay. No. All right. Hey, hey Ricardo. Nice to see you. Amazing. I, I don't remember seeing you before. Hi. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. I, I was in the last class. 
Uh huh. I see a lot of is is like a, in the backyard. It looks like you are like in the garden. Yeah, I'm here in the garden. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Daddy okay. Chele, your face. <laughs> <laughs> like a vampiro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why. Like, Phantom. Maybe, that's why like I said, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it's Thanks, good. everyone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, if if no one has any questions, I'm glad to hear that many of you have finished the platform, which is excellent. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue with our ideas of the platform using the clauses uh, with when and if, uh, just to make sure when we talk about expectations, okay? So here, expectations is like what you think about or what are the correct ways that people act or how they should be. So here I'm going to share my screen with you, okay? This is for 5.7, okay? The topic from 5.6 is uh, learn how to use clauses with when and if for expectations. So let's watch a little video about the expectations and how we use it. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express expectations, particularly cultural expectations. For example, you'll learn how to answer the following question. What are you supposed to do when you go out on a first date? Um, the answer to that question can be, well, in the US, when you go out on a first date, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. And just like the image that you see at this time, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in the US? Um, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in uh, let's say Japan and the answer to that question is much different so that's what we're going to learn in this particular class how to structure those ideas together let me quickly present the structure that we're going to follow at this time what you're going to see is that we're going to express the expectations we're going to have some sort of situation um, and then uh, we're going to express the expectation with either supposed to or it's the custom to either you're supposed to or you're not supposed to um, and so let's look at the examples at this time when you visit someone it's the custom to bring a small gift of course this depends on the situation you aren't supposed to arrive early and again this varies among different cultures um, if you want to bring someone you're expected to call first and ask you're supposed to check with the host it's not acceptable to arrive without calling first. Okay, so as we can see, uh, what we're talking about in that situation is first, we put down the situation, okay? Whatever the situation, when you visit someone, if you want to bring someone, uh, going on, or when you go on the first date, uh, I don't know, uh, moving to a new house, okay? And then you put down the second part is the expectation. That means what do you imagine is normal? That's or what do you imagine happens? In this case, uh, it's the custom or uh, which it can be a positive sentence or it can be a negative. You aren't supposed to. There are different ways to say it. Positive of what you should do or negative of what you shouldn't do. Let's continue watching and seeing a couple more examples. So let's try to understand this particular idea here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write the structure and I'm also going to um, borrow one of these examples that you see there. Um, let me just make this a little bigger. One second here. All right. Um, I think I, I should have. All right. So what I want to do at this point is just um, point out uh, the following that um, the structure, the way that it works is either we're going to use an, a when or an if clause. And what do I mean by a when clause? Well, it's this situation that I mentioned here at the beginning. When you visit someone, right? If you want to bring someone. That's what I refer to when I say 
a when or an if clause. That's what should be here at the beginning. After that, you should include a subject. Uh, in this case, uh, the subject is you. All right. So the the expectation is when you visit someone and then you, then it's going to follow the verb to be. The verb to be can be either uh, in its positive form or it could be negative. In this case, it happens to be that it's on its negative form. So when you visit someone you aren't, uh, then this is going to follow supposed to. You aren't supposed to, and then it's going to follow the verb. So in this case, the verb is arrive. Okay. You aren't supposed to arrive early. And then finally, it should follow the complement. Let me give an example with another clause. So in this case, I'll use an if clause. So I'm going to say, if the service in a restaurant is good, okay, that's the if clause, okay. Then this I mentioned is going to follow the subject, okay. You're um, supposed to, okay. And then that's going to follow the verb, so you're supposed to leave a tip, and then there's going to be some sort of complement. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and color this in green, just so you can see that this is the when or the if clause. So in this case, it's the it's the if clause that I'm using. So let me just quickly point that out, right? Um, after that, follows the it follows the the subject and the verb. Uh, in this case, the verb to be. I mentioned that the the subject and the verb to be can either be uh, positive or it could it could be uh, plural. So in that particular case, what you see there is that um, I'm using a contraction, right? So that's that's the subject and the contraction of that verb. Um, and then we use supposed to. And I'm going to go ahead and color that in appropriate color, the one that I chose. Uh, and then it follows the verb, right? And then whatever complement that uh, you wanted to uh, choose. So uh, this is uh, my opinion and the opinion of many people. If the service in a restaurant is good, you're supposed to leave a tip. Uh, again, this varies among different cultures. And in some cultures, it's not the custom to leave a t uh, to leave um, any tip whatsoever, right? Let me go ahead and uh, give another example here. Uh, what I'm going to say is when you go out with friends to dinner, all right? Um, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the subject a little bit. I'm going to say it's uh, and instead of supposed to, I will say it's acceptable to split the bill. So there are other examples that you can see here. Um, we can use um, it's the custom, right? Um, you can use it's acceptable or, or it's not acceptable. I mentioned the, this can be positive or negative. Yeah, you're expected to, which is an, an example that I did not give, but um, um, it it would follow that expression and then it follows the verb. But um, all, all of them um, you should be able to form uh, simply by following this uh, structure that I um, put here. So what I would like for you to do now is I would like for you to think about lots of cultural aspects uh, from your country. Um, so for example, what are you supposed to do when um, you're invited to a wedding? What are you supposed to do before you get married? And then you want to uh, share what's the custom, what are you supposed to do, uh, what are you expected to do, and then make lots of different sentences related to cultural aspects. Hi, everyone. OK. So that's what we're going to practice. We're going to practice that structure. We're going to go with our partners, and we're going to talk about cultural, OK? If you go to a wedding, if you go on a date, when you meet someone for the first time, when you are invited to someone's house, when you visit someone, okay, we're going to use those vocabularies and those structures that we learn. You are expected to, 
uh, it is custom to, you are not supposed to, you are, you should, all of these things are the ones that we're gonna practice. Remember, we have two different forms to make them. We can use them with the word when, okay? When you go to someone's house or if you go to someone's house, okay? When you go to a wedding or if you are invited to a wedding. We are, you can use the different structures. But the important is to express yourself. What do you think? Okay. So imagine Ricardo is going to get married. Okay. What should Ricardo do? Ah, okay. Well, if we are the friends, what do we do? Ah, uh, when someone gets married, uh, you give them a party or you congratulate them. If you are invited to the wedding, you need to uh, whatever you want. Is that okay? So it's not only for weddings, it's for any situation that you and your partners think of. Uh, going to dinner, uh, on a date, visiting someone's house, uh, traveling, uh, whatever you want. All of those different situations, okay? Uh, the first day of class, when you begin a new class or when you have a new, uh, a new classmate, when, when you begin a new course, all of these different situations. That's what we're going to try. Any questions or we can practice in our groups? Practice in the group. Okay, let's practice in the groups. George, you okay? A little depressed, but like, uh, what's supposed to do in a funeral, like in, in the country is like very, uh, it's like when, we go to a funeral, it's supposed to be, uh, where, como se dice, vestidos, or Dress? wearing, it's like supposed to be wearing uh, clothes black, but like this. Okay. Hi, Jorge. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Jorge. Um, another situation you you have that follow still mm, like a teacher has says a wedding and in my family, when we got a, a wedding, it's uh, expected we uh, give uh, dinner <laughs> and no, as uh, money, I think, uh, to the to the couple. Okay, the other people express your ideas also. What do you do when you go to the wedding? What are you supposed to do, not supposed to do, expected to do? It's a custom, all of these different ways.
if I point A, number three. Okay. You respect yes. it to respond in writing. Sí. Yes. Okay. Number four, when you go out on a date, it's acceptable you acceptable to shave the expense. And you, Carla, number six, number five. Okay, if the service in a restaurant is good, you're expected to leave a tip. Okay. And the number six, Eduardo. Uh, when you meet someone for the first time, you are not yes. super to kiss him, him or her. Mm -hmm. Yes, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. It's okay. Um, continue in a next uh, exercise. And it's possible to listen the conversation or to check the correct answers in the next exercise, Carlos. Okay. You have a computer for to put yes. in the screen. The ah okay. Thanks, Carl. Uh, the ex final exam. Mm, yes. No. Yes. Number five point nine. Uh -huh, five point nine. Uh -huh, but in the request in the Manuel calling. Call it Karen and once like the uh, the coffee cup too, but maybe uh, I don't like the the Coca Cola because I know the the, the Coca Cola causes a lot of problem and and the boring and the sugar yes. up frequently when that the people or the person is a uh, what diabetic, right? Yeah. Maybe. But in, in my case, the, the, what? The, the 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 coffee is for me the the my problem, the coffee. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh, the yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, teacher, welcome. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, now we are going to talk about the expectation. Do you remember the class, the uh, partner? <laughs> Leah, do you remember the, the expectation? The expectation class, Leah and Ruth? No, Leah. Uh, when you visit, when you visit, um someone person or when you visit that your mother-in-law what happened when you visit did you uh, did you give us <laughs> okay um let me see another one Pero, yeah. what uh -huh. no, no 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 okay um tell me when i When I go to the beach, I suppose to um, um, I suppose to um, uh, get funny. Yes. Yeah. Get a lot of fun. Have have a lot of fun. Have a lot of fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. I suppose to have a lot of fun. Okay. Thanks, teacher. What? Yeah. Let me see. If if the server of the restaurant gives me a good service, um. It's acceptable to uh, express that I'm grateful 
with him or her. Okay. Well. When um when is uh, when my mother is birthday she's supposed to uh, oh uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, if Klaus subject the verb to be, uh, when I, um, oh. so for example, Tatiana and George, it, it can be, for example, when is your mother's birthday? Uh, when uh, when you go to another country? When I visit my friends? Okay, mm -hmm. the, 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 because you're talking about the the first part is the situation. So uh, when it's someone's birthday, what is expected? Or what is the custom? Ah, it's the custom to say happy birthday, uh, to give them a present. It's the you are expected to uh, congratulate your friend. That's the idea. It's not. It can be any situation. But what is the habit, or what is the 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 routine that you do in those situations? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, when, uh, for example, when I receive. Uh, the gift or, or regalo gift or yes a gift yes mm -hmm. when I receive give uh, you or I suppose uh, I um. I suppose uh, a happy. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be happy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you receive a gift, okay, mm -hmm. you are supposed to be happy or mm -hmm. it de depend the situation, right? You are expected to say thank you. Mm hmm. Things like this. So think of the different situations and what is the normal, what is the the, the custom for those situations. After for the weekend. Yes. Number two, I use it your cell phone. Is correct. And number three, Carla. Uh, number three is lending me your newspaper. It's okay. Okay. Next. Lending me newspaper. And the next, um, in the next exercise in the platform. Mm -hmm. Uh, number one, could you tell tell Matt that Akiko can now come to class tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Yes, Eduardo. And you, Caroline, that number two. Can you ask David whether or not he wants to study together tonight? Okay. And can you can you tell Harriet not to be late for class on Monday. It's only yes. that in the structure in the next. I I I I visit my family after after the the, the lunch right? uh, after the lunch mm -hmm. because I I when saw I, I I expected 
that they are not giving me a, a lunch or food, only the, the, the breakfast at 3, 3 lunch? p.m. But no lunch. Uh -huh. I no, no include the lunch. Uh -huh. Only pan de dulce con café, right, at oh. 3 p.m. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> Uh, in my case, when when I party. when I my loving hello, uh, hello blanquita. In my case, uh, when my grandmother-in-law, hello, um, in law, my suegra, grandmother-in-law, invite us to to eat or to take a lunch. You know, my expectative is that I supposed that I I will be, I will uh, eat delicious because my grandmother-in-law is good, chef good. Uh, okay. cooking. good chef. cooking. Cooking. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What kind of cooking? She is a uh, typical, typical uh, food typical in Salvador, food. Salvadorian food. Uh -huh. uh, there's a, um, yeah, it sounds good. Right. That's good. Hi, teacher. Hey, Ricardo. Any questions? No. Uh, in this topic, I think I think no. It's it's okay. Okay. If you don't have any questions, you and Guillermo can continue to the next topic, which is beginning the exam, and work together to see if there are any questions during the exam. But if we have finish finish the, the exam then it's excellent then only is necessary you put in practice the speaking intonation wh questions giving complete answers the, now it's the yeah. time to practice what you learned okay mm -hmm. okay yeah hey guillermo you, too, the exam. you what guillermo you finished the exam yeah it's done okay and ricardo you too i too Ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're done. Excellent. Then, yes, then the idea is that you practice not only the expectations, you practice all of the other structures that we learned. So you can talk about reported speech, you can talk about only the important is to get confidence in fluency. So it, it doesn't matter the topic. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Well... Uh, the bear wash or oh, see wash or see sería así lo que me está diciendo que si sí, el vestido te, crees no. que te va a quedar bien no 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 cuando te usa vestido se supone que es para como que ah ok Yo no sé si sería así when I, I use to. Go ahead, Tatiana. I, I can help you. Say the sentence. Ah, ah eh, when I use eh, the, when I use dress, you are supposed. I, uh -huh. you are supposed. Uh, bear, see or wash? No, look. Ah, look elegant. Yes, exactly. You are supposed to look elegant. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Or you are supposed to look better. Is uh huh. Ah. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So, George, Tatiana, any questions for this topic? No. Okay, George, any, do you understand no. that? No teacher, no question, only a practice more. Okay, okay. If you want, you and Tatiana practice more. And when you are ready, you can go to the next topic, which is beginning the, the exam to see if you have any questions. Okay. 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 
and and that I I I learn I I read a lot in English because uh is is better for my pronunciation and and read a lot articles um page my cell phone is in English is in English for for remember the word to, that's that that's that's all it's okay it's a good for to um in the extra day or obligation to see uh, see english study english uh, or watch english and the uh, write and uh, read only in english and yes. think in english and think in english too and Very uh, important. and the movies movies to in it's english true. and the title english too mm -hmm. movies and ser series and, and music yes and the music the the best music the england for example beatles um, oh i see i see and, and this and in my weekend uh yes. as uh, i want series is is in english but english from england and and, uh -huh. and the pronunciation is is very weird <laughs> the 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 behavior yeah when mm -hmm. the, my the, children the, are uh -huh. my children um are all already a uh, maria uh -huh. to to two children um one one uh, daughter one mm -hmm. one son okay oh hey, this is your your son or your daughter you get married got married your your son or your daughter to to um uh, uh, mario um uh, uh, you my my son uh, and my daughter uh, Mario. Mary. Uh, maybe the when someone get uh, get married or maybe suppose they expected something right or, or the mother in law for example the mother in law what, what expected when the 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 son or or uh, or daughter uh, get married. What are your expectation? Where do you expect it? What do you expect it, that that action? Mm, uh, you uh, you uh, suppose uh, to no 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 te entendí. Y que se corta. Ya. Yeah. En español, ¿qué esperas cuando se, ca está, se casa tu hermano, tu, perdón, tus hijos? ¿Qué es expected when, when your son or daughter eh, get married? ¿Qué es lo que esperas? I supuse, eh, pose, eh, in, eh, in day happy. Aha, 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 good. In the happy, eh, um, um, eh. How do you say yerno, professor, teacher? How do um, you say yerno in Spanish? It's huh? called the in-law. In? In-law. In yes. It, it changes for in law. In all, all, all our in-laws is son-in-law, daughter-in-law, mother-in-law, brother-in-law. Ah, okay. Cecilia, son-in-law. Correct. For you, if you married your daughter, is your son-in-law. 
if married your your son is the daughter in law oh, okay no it's in the chat okay okay low in, low in low, low no sé por qué le ponen low porque no son queridos <laughs> lay, lay. No, no, no. Yes, For lay, right? yes, exactly. It's, it's, it's not the love. Ah, the love, 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 the love, the amor. Ah, lay. okay. Lay. The so lay. Love. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ahí hay más, nah, más. No de amor. Es demasiado ponerle okay. así. <laughs> Pero son queridos. Good. Uh -huh. In low. No. In low. If like if, that you are more in love, yes, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the blackie is uh, very confused. She she thought that she loved me, no, and she, she said, No, I don't in love. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. If you if you want, you can change topics. It's not necessary continue expectations. It's necessary continue fluency and speaking. Okay. So you can you can change. You can, for example, Blanca, how was the wedding? Uh, where was the wedding? Uh, how, it, you uh, you can ask questions. It changed the topic, but the important is the fluency and the intonation. Okay. Okay. See, of course. Okay. Of okay. course. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, Shane, the topping. In the section, in the section B, I, I guess, and the section five. Uh, what, but you're talking of this final exam or what? I did it. I did it, but um, it was uh, so hard to, to, to answer, I try and try and try. So, and um, lo logré. <laughs> ah, you you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing that gives me uh, a little bit of problems was the request when you ask for something with the borrow, lend, use. Yeah. Sometimes I got kind of lost, but then I correct. Yeah. And that section, I I have a problem. Yeah, you do. <laughs> but is? now I, I did. That is important. Yeah. Or other thing that it's... Um, the simple past and the past continuous, but then I just get focused on what's easy to do. Yes, um, I have to to uh, record in my brain uh, the verbs in participle yeah. and yeah. past. Sometimes it's um, confused. Some that's right. To me, uh, it's uh, me too. Me too. Um, sometimes I I I write uh, in the mm -hmm. past simple and como se en en lo en vez de se me olvida la palabra instead instead um particip participle the conjugation so I, gives you problems or what we have to the ig to, the um, ed or or the infinitive infinity mm. i i don't think but um my my problem is is uh, the difference between the the participle and and simple past mm -hmm. and sometimes i 
I wrong when I when I write uh, a sentence about a borrow or lend. When you use borrow and uh, you you use um, the first person. That's right. Mm -hmm. I borrow. And when you use uh, lend, um, uh, you use uh, lend me. It's a, yeah. yeah. And with the borrow, you you normally use could I? Could I borrow your jacket, your laptop, your cell phone? Yeah. And the lend always uh, after the lend or lending it's it's me. Okay, I think everybody I hear and everybody sounds that it's clear, but. Uh, any questions uh, uh, or vocabulary you're not sure about? Teacher, only one question. Suppose expected there are adjectives, or what is it? Oh. Uh, after expected. Uh, expected, suppose. Infinitive. So you yes, you are you ex you are expected to take a, a present. Uh huh. You are uh, uh, you are expected to uh, say thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Supposed to the same for exactly the supposed to and then the verb. You are supposed to uh, visit your your mother or you are supposed to go. Uh, to, I don't know, to the funeral. That, uh -huh, because in the formula, uh, suppose is between between and between two verbs, are and is or infinity verb. Correct. You remember? Uh -huh. Yes. And so, in that case, suppose what is it? Is adjective or what is? No, no, no. The the suppose is not the adjective. The suppose is the it's the connector for the infinitive. So it's, uh -huh. you, we say like, uh, he is supposed to give or uh, yeah, I know. they mm -hmm. or they are supposed, and then you put in the infinitive. Yeah, uh -huh. okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, not only that. Okay, okay. Good, anybody else, any other questions? All right, so the important is uh, we're, we're finishing up unit five today, which is great, it's excellent. I just want to make sure that it's clear. So I am going to share the screen and we are going to try different compliments to make sure that it's okay. So um, let's, let's begin. Number one, who would like to read and complete the sentence with their own idea? You planned to visit yeah. someone at home. What What do we do in El Salvador? If you plan to visit someone at home, you call first. Okay, good. You are remember you are expected to call. You are supposed are to call. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to call. Okay. Yeah, and it's it, it, in El Salvador, right? It, it, you don't only go to the person's house and say. Hey, how are you? No, no, mm -hmm. no, no, no. You are supposed to call or or or, or send a text message or what's up? Hey, are you home? <laughs> yeah. So, okay. All right, good. What about number two? What can we say for number two? You did. Collaboration with soda. Ah, 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, to, to bring soil. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, it's true. Minimum, right? Minimum yeah. of soil. That you, if you've been it's to cool. a friend's home for dinner, you are, or it maybe not you are supposed to, maybe here it, it's a custom, right? It's a custom to bring a drink. Yeah, I am. I am to bring. Mm -hmm. I, I am to bring. I suppose I am to bring a soda. Yeah, no. Coca Cola or or, <laughs> or, or, or coffee or snack. coffee, a snack, something. You are, With bread. You, you are supposed to bring something, some some food, especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Collaboration. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. The the only time the for me that I've seen that it's different is different is a. Uh, when they when your friend says no 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 don't bring anything nothing nothing and and, and then you are expected to to mm -hmm. bring something for the wife or for someone else for example flowers or or something but always in El Salvador I I you don't go to the house hey Daniel I hear and the food what happened what happened with my food no mm -hmm. <laughs> we are supposed to share mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about number three? What can we say for number three? Number three, when you have You suppose to give a gift? Yeah, right? Giving a gift nope, or give. giving a... You're supposed to give. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll give a, a money. A money. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> and yes. develop and develop money. Yes, uh, now now is money. Now the idea is money is better. Because yeah. then the people use for any activities or any anything. Okay. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about number four? When you go out on a date. Okay. You supposed to meet a good person? Yes. You're supposed to meet a good person? Okay. Uh, I don't know. We're supposed to wear the best dress. Halls to halls. Halls to halls. Pay the, the bill. Uh, yes. I am Split. supposed to... Uh -huh. Uh, to to pay house to house the bill. Yes, you're you are expected to to wait. Uh huh. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to split the bill or pay half and half. Okay. To see. What about the next one? If the service mm -hmm. in a restaurant is good. What if you have good... Mm -hmm. To give a tip. That's right. To yeah. give a tip. Uh, uh, the, to, to give a tip. Uh -huh. Give a good give time. Tip, uh, the waiter. Uh -huh. Yeah, give them a good tip. That's true. That's true. Uh -huh. And the last one, when you meet someone for the first time. When you meet someone. Oh my gosh. Mm What happened when you meet someone for the first time? Ask what you like to do. Okay, uh, yeah, ask them what they like to do. Mm -hmm. okay. Introduce yourself. You are supposed to introduce yourself. Different okay. things. Okay. Well, don't worry. This is the last part for our uh, unit five. Tomorrow we'll take a look at the exam if you have any questions. And if not, we'll practice more listening and speaking exercises tomorrow. Okay? okay. 
All mm -hmm. right. Okay. Have a great night, and I see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.